Miss Collier explains reflections. Today, our learning intentions are to understand that an image can be reflected to form a prime and to be able to draw the result of a point or shape being reflected over a mirror line. We will know we are successful when we can find the result of a point or shape being reflected on the Cartesian plane. We are now going to look at our second type of transformations, reflections. I'm sure you can think of many examples of reflections in everyday life. When designing this mirrored staircase, the architect had drawn one staircase and then reflected its design across the vertical line that is the axis of symmetry. In the past, you may have talked about flipping a shape. Now we're going to use the more formal term, reflection. A reflection is a type of transformation and it involves changing the position of the points in an object. When a shape is reflected over a mirror line, the size of the shape does not change. Hence, this transformation, reflections, are also isometric, meaning their dimensions stay the same. So, a reflection is an isometric transformation that gives an image of an object or shape without changing its size. When we look at the prime of a reflected image, it kind of looks backwards, like it's looking in a mirror. As always with transformations, the image of the point A is denoted by A prime when we have our new prime that is being transformed. A reflection always involves a mirror line, like you can see in the diagram here. For us, we're going to be using the axes X and Y as our mirror lines. Another major piece of advice that I'm always going to give you when working with transformations is always to do each transformation to a point one at a time. Don't try to transform the shape as a whole. So when we're doing reflections, we just see how far away is the point from the mirror line and put it the same distance on the other side. If we do this to each point and then join up the shape, we will have a reflected shape. If we try reflect the image as a whole, we can sometimes put the wrong letter in the wrong spot or end up with a shape that's not fully reflected. Let's have a go at drawing reflections. It says, draw the reflected image of this shape and give the coordinates of A, B, C, and D prime. The Y axis is the mirror line. I like to highlight my mirror line. So I'm going to drag and highlight that this Y axis is where my mirror line is. Now I'm going to reflect each point individually. So first I'm going to look at A and I'm going to say, how far away is it from the mirror line? And that's one. And then I'm going to count one on the other side of the mirror line and plot my point. And that is A prime. Now I'm going to try B. B is also one point away. So I go along one point. That's B prime. C is one, two, three. So on the other side, I'm going to count one, two, three. And that's C prime. Lastly, D, one, two, three, one, two, three, D prime. Then using a ruler, I'm going to connect up my points. I always want to check the reasonableness of it. So I'm going to say, has my shape changed size? And it hasn't. Has it been flipped over the correct mirror line? Has it been flipped over the Y axis? Yes, it has. To check that, I'm also going to check that all my letters are backwards and it does seem so. So I think this is a pretty reasonable result. The second half of the question says that I must give the coordinates of all these primes. So I'm going to say A prime, B prime, C prime and D prime. A prime is one and negative one. Remembering that it must be round brackets because this is not a translation. B is in line with 1 and negative 2, so that's 1, negative 2. C prime is 3 and negative 3. And D prime is 3 and negative 1. You have a go at reflecting this shape. Let's check your answers. It says draw the reflected image of the shape and figure out the coordinates. The y-axis is the mirror line. So I'm going to drag this as the y-axis is my mirror line. Now I'm going to do each point. So if we start with A, 
A is one away, so A prime is one away. B is one away, so B prime, one away. C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. C prime. D, one, two, three, one, two, three. D prime. I've done all my letters, so I'm going to connect them up and I'm going to check, does it seem reasonable? Do they seem like it's the same size? Yes. Are my letters backwards? Yes. Does it look flipped? Yes. Now I've just got to do my coordinates. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. A is one, one. B is one, four. C is four, three. And D is three, one. I do want you to take my advice and reflect each point one at a time. I know you may be thinking, oh, I can do the whole shape, but sometimes it gets a bit tricky and you might stuff things up. For example, if our shape is crossing our mirror line, it can get a bit complicated, but we can do it. Here, I'm going to reflect this shape across the mirror line of X. It may seem hard and a little bit complicated, but it's actually quite easy if we just follow our steps. So how far is A from the mirror line? That's two. So on the other side, we do two. That's A prime. How far is B from the mirror line? Well, that's two. So we go one, two. B prime. And lastly, C is one away. So I go one on the other side, C prime. And then I'm going to use a ruler and connect up the dots. And I see now I have created a mirror image. Even if they cross over each other, that's okay. I hope now you can find the result of a reflection of a point or shape on the Cartesian plane. Woof.